We made it. It's April 30th, the end of Quad Goals. This is episode five, the one with the Ocho Snatch. <laughs> I'm so glad you made it. Yeah, my hair is down today. It's crazy windy out here, so I'm gonna try to keep it short. My camera's weighed down, so hopefully you guys don't blow away. <laughs> so the Ocho Snatch, very similar to the Ocho Switch. So we did the Ocho Switch last time, which was holding the hoop in your native hand. If you're holding it with the right, the right side is closer to you. Turning over, feeling that gravity, letting go, hanging onto the one in the front. That's the switch. The snatch is very similar, except instead of the hoop separated into the figure eight, they're together. So you're gonna hold them, kind of giving stability with your thumb. Gonna turn them over to feel that gravity. You're going to grip the one in the front and let go of your thumb, just like you did with the, um, the switch and lift that hoop over and they kind of separate and come back together. Separate and come back together. So from this side, you're here, they're just next to each other. Turn over. If they separate a little bit, that's okay. Just remember, you're gonna let go of the one closer to you, grip the one further away. From this side. And from this side. Here, turn over, here comes that wind. Very easy, right? So then you take the other hand, give the other hand a try, remember? The thumb, where your thumb is, the hoop closer to you, that's the one you're gonna let go of. Hang on to the one further away. And remember, your hand is just, all, it's all you're doing, you're gripping, turning your wrist up with the front hoop, the back hoop, you're gonna let go with your thumb and turn your hand up and catch it with your thumb. That's it. So what happens when we add two together? We're gonna do what we call the quad burst. And that's a lot of fun and it looks really pretty. It's a nice move to start or end with. So we'll, you know, same, they'll start with the right hand, hoops, two hoops in one hand. You'll turn them over to feel that gravity. So that thumb, you're gonna, you're gonna separate them a little bit to kind of make this eye. And I got really dark all of a sudden, but I'm still here. You're gonna make this eye. And once you have that form, Remember, just the same as before, you're just gonna turn your hand over, whoop. So then you add the other one, same thing. You add a little separation, you're just gonna press your thumb up and that will separate the hoops a little bit. When you're ready, when you're done doing your little show, whoop. Now when we add both together, that's what makes the magic. You're going to take the two, fold them over. I like to lean them into each other. And then as you push on your thumbs, the two hoops closer to you in your hands, you start to make this beautiful mandala flower shape and you can make it smaller, you can pulsate it, and when you're ready, remember to grip the outside hoops in each hand, boom, quad burst. What? Remember, bring them together, keep them close, let the thumbs do some separating, frame your pretty face, let them explode. And then you're ready to go into your arm splits, right? So yeah, so if you catch them in your arm splits, what else can we do? Turn them over, push them forward. Ah, add a little drama to that. Really lean them back. Cool, right? You can play with all different things you can do. You can do them from the back. Kind of like that, um, the switch but it's just a little bit different shape where they separate and come back together. Oh, Karen, you'll love this. I remember learning your, I think it went like this. One goes over, right? With just the twins. Guess what? You can kind of do it with quads. I'm still practicing it, but here you go. If you use that snatch, over you go, under and over. I'm doing the snatch with the bottom one. I think you could probably add one with the top, I'm just not quite that coordinated yet. <laughs> Maybe you can show me how. And I think that's it. So definitely play with that. Play with all the different moves, mix them and match them together. Work on transitioning from one to the other. And this has been a pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed learning some quad goals with me. And definitely ask any questions. I'm gonna put these videos on my YouTube channel. It's just um, Angela Writer is my YouTube channel. If you um, just check out my name above if you can't spell it. <laughs> and again, 
Happy hooping. Mwah. It's been a pleasure, guys. Take care.